Hi, this is Jared Friedman from Redwood Financial Planning. At some point in your life, you will use financial planning. Now, I don't know you, but I'm confident that that statement is true. It might not be in the form of a large, comprehensive, expensive plan, but anytime you make any life decision and money is involved, you have used financial planning. Things like buy a house, save for college, lease a car, save for a wedding, build a budget, go out for dinner, you name it, you have used financial planning. Now, according to Investopedia, a financial plan is a comprehensive evaluation of an investor's current and future financial state by knowing current variables to predict future cash flows, asset values, and withdrawal plans. So basically, anytime you choose to save or spend money, you're affecting your current and future financial state, therefore using financial planning. Because it is so prevalent, there are many benefits to building your financial plan. Of course, having a roadmap showing you how to manage your money to accomplish all of your goals and objectives over time is the biggest benefit, but what are some of the others? In this video, I will not cover the obvious ones, but instead focus on three benefits that might actually be more important to you. Please stick around. Three side benefits of financial planning are organization, clarity, and empowerment. Let's get into it. Number one, organization. When you decide to do some real financial planning, the first part is defining your goals and your current situation. This, my friends, is very, very powerful. Now, I'm not talking about being vague about your future or guessing how much your last heating bill. I'm talking about getting your hands dirty and looking at your bills, understanding your cash flow learning about the accounts you already own, and most importantly, defining what you want your future to look like. For some of my clients, the process of organizing their finances alone is worth my fee. Now, most people have never stopped and actually thought about the inflows and outflows of their daily life because there's just not enough time. Most couples I meet have never spoken to each other about their retirement or if they want to start a business or maybe even buy a vacation home. Now, of course, they've had one-off conversations, but never a coordinated talk that ends with something meaningful. But with financial planning and this newfound organization, they can properly evaluate financial decisions. Things like which cable company to go with or which house to buy or when to stop working are things that they can now decide upon once they've organized their finances. But without knowing which end is up, how do they know what the best decision is? Well, organization is key. Number two, clarity. Now, the next phase of financial planning is actually analyzing your goals relative to your savings, ability, and situation to determine if you'll have any surpluses or shortfalls. The clarity that this will provide is priceless. Things like, should we go on vacation next year? Should we buy a bigger house again? Should we get a Lexus or a Toyota? Regularly, we all make big financial decisions like those in the moment. But building a financial plan allows you to take a step back and see the big picture. And that big picture could be very eye-opening, but should allow you to spend your money wisely, which means on things most important to you. For example, if you decide you want to go on the big vacation, that's no problem because now you'll know how much you need to save for college also. So it's your choice on how to spend your money. And you get to own the decision with no regrets. Because we have limited dollars, every decision will have some effect on a future decision. You don't have to save every time, but you do need the clarity to make smart decisions. Number three, empowerment. See, this is the best side benefit of financial planning, empowerment. By going through the entire financial planning process, you should be empowered to say yes or no to spending money without feeling guilty. A financial plan gives you everything you need to say yes or no to yourself, your kids, your friends, the telemarketer, you name it. Because you'll get a new sense of control over your money that you never had before. Yes, you want to buy the new toy or the new gadget, but only because now you're saving to reach your other goals. 
or no to the new toy or gadget because you decide you need to put more money to your emergency fund. Either way, you're empowered to make decisions that truly reflect what is most important to you. Now, I hope this video has made you think differently about financial planning and your own life. It's not always about dollars and cents and the stock market, but going through this process will provide you with more organization, clarity, and empowerment over your money than probably you've ever had before. So do it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any future videos, and I hope you achieve financial success. Thank you.